hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarters so a lot of nigeria are asking this question where is fadambaka honestly it will shock you what has become of fadambaka um since he made some utterances about um labor party presidential candidate his excellency mr peter Obi. yes so after um uh, all those videos that was that was released on social media you know where fadambaka was saying things about um peter Obi and saying that he's not going to win unless he comes to his altar and all of that so we all know that the archbishop of Enugu diocese um bishop onaga closed down the adoration ministry a lot of people reacted um that even if fadambaka has made a mistake that should not warrant um bishop onaga to close a place where people come to worship god a lot of nigerians are passing through a lot some of them um, go there to dance away their sorrow. Some go there to pour out their hearts. Some feel that um, that place is where um, they get peace of mind. Every week they will just go there. And the most heartbreaking of all is in every adoration, at the end of every adoration, there is a lot of widows, widowers, um, orphans that usually line up and Fadambaka will share almost um the offering and the food stuff that he got from you know like that people you know gave um during um offering time in church or people that did thanksgiving so all these widows all these orphans all these widowers all these um less privileged people that are depending on fadambaka that comes to adoration ministry every week you know for that depends on Fadambaka, even disabled, they are crying. What are they going to do right now? That for the past two months now, that Onaga locked adoration ground. Honestly, I'm not supporting what Fadambaka did, but Bishop Onaga did too much. Like, you can't close a place of worship. There is thousands of reverend fathers that do the adoration with Fadambaka. I think he would have said, okay, Fadambaka, for now, I don't want to see you in adoration. Then another priest can, you know, take over those um, priests that work with Fadambaka. But closing down a place of worship is like telling people to stop worshiping God. Yes, I know a lot of people will say, is it a church? Some people took it as a church. Some people don't even attend churches on Sunday, but they go there to pray, to do a lot of things. Some people is where they find their happiness. But my own is closing the house of worship is very, very wrong. It's not the... Um, Fadambaka did not um, commit any murder. He did not delete anybody or kill anybody he just said something he's not supposed to say as a father they usually say that um if you use the right hand or whatever to beat a child you use the other hand to tell the, to, to you know to bring the child closer and talk to the child i know maybe father um bishop ponaga who said um fadambaka has done this for so many times you should know that nobody is perfect all the priests are not the same in fact there is even some catholic priests that are doing worse their own is they are hiding um on the umbrella of a priest they are doing a lot of immoral stuff that even bishop onaga is aware but he will not even um give them the kind of punishment he gives to fadambaka and a lot of people are saying that it's not even about what Fadambaka said about Pitub. It's about the ongoing um, beef between Bishop Onaga and Fadambaka. He just sees that opportunity to deal with Mbaka. Because I don't see the reason why a bishop would lock up a church. No. And right now, they are planning to send Fadambaka to abroad for a course. I don't know whether he will accept to go or whether he has already gone. We all know that Fadambaka is very respectful to Bishop Onaga. No matter all the things that 
a lot of things that, that Bishop Onaga has, you know, done to Fadambaka, a lot of people will see it as, no, he's a bishop, he has the right. But honestly, there is a lot of politics going on in the church. Yes, a lot of politics is going on in the church. That's why a lot of people will say that um, a judgment will start from the church. It's not, um, it's not like... It's not as if people are just fabricating it to say no. This is the, this is the pure truth. The issue between Fadambaka, um, his his adoration ministry being sealed up, is not even because of what he said about Pitobi. It's because of the ongoing beefs. A lot of reverend fathers, a lot of reverend sisters, they are against Fadambaka. A lot of them are jealous of him. This that I'm telling you is not to talk down on Catholic priest i'm a catholic this is not the first time um padambaka is being treated this way a lot of things that did not even make it to social media that you know the priest has been doing to Fadambaka. like Fadambaka is um a good priest and another thing you should know is nobody is perfect we all have um our that bad side of us. Fadambaka own is his mouth. Sometimes he says something, maybe after saying it, he will now say, hey, I shouldn't have said it though. But he will now apologize again. Another day he will say, so we, you should know that he's part of him. I believe maybe because he's someone that talks too much on the stage. So sometimes he will talk and over talk. Something he's not supposed to say. Yeah, but at least he did not kill anybody. I don't know why this kind of punishment. If it's other church, would they close down the church? They would change, open another person or make another person to be in charge. After all, this issue is between him and Obi, Peter Obi. Peter Obi has said that Fadambaka, he, he still talk with Fadambaka, that they are not enemies. They still talk on phone. Fadambaka still prays for him, that Fadambaka is his spiritual director. And his brother so um people carry this thing in my fact they said a lot of reverend fathers um started writing petition against fadambaka fine he's a reverend father like you if he has done something wrong why not call him that he started writing petition see if you don't know a lot of reverend fathers their eyes their eyes is in is on that adoration ministry because a lot of money is coming out from there and fadambaka is using those money to train people in school the orphans a lot of people are benefiting from the money fadambaka is making on that adoration even his um you know he has a lot of small small company even where they do pure water aquarafa and a lot of things he employed a thousands as in he employed thousands of youth so Farambaka, I know he has his own flu, but we should not like trash him like that because he made that mistake. After all, the person he has the problem with has already forgiven him. Why is the bishop taking it so so far? It's not right. Cat, I don't know, but this is just my opinion. And also just to tell you guys that they gave Farambaka, Farambaka is on, they call it Opipia. I don't know how I will say it in English, Opipia like a kind of fasting and praying um doing doing some fasting and praying for some of them they give them for five months one year for them to pray they will not come out they will just come out to pray they will be in the bishop house for one year and be praying you know give they will not participate in any mass like church services they only go to the chapel pray it that's the only thing they do for like complete five months or one year i think all this temptation is they, they just they are pushing father mark mbaka to you know to walk out from the catholic um church but father mbaka said he promised uh blessed mother mary that he will he promised um blessed mother mary and his own mother that he will be in catholic forever and ever if you know the story of adambaka you will know that the mother was looking for a son for many many years and promised god that if you give me this son he's going to serve you and god adambaka came and became an ordained child a destiny child from when he was still small so yeah I don't know maybe i'm talking too much but anyway thank you so much for watching i just said let me just um tell you guys 
whereabouts of Fadambaka because a lot of Nigerians are, are asking where is Fadambaka. As you know, Fadambaka is doing opipia, praying and fasting. 